Hey y'all, it's Callie. Welcome to my YouTube channel and today I'm going to be creating this look and this is my go-to eye look for any event or any day. So if you want to see how I create this look then please keep watching. So first I'm going to start out with the face and I'm going to use my Prime and Protect Mattifying Primer from Canon Austin. And make sure whenever you use this, since it is so expensive, don't use that much because honestly you don't even need that much. So beware that into my face. Gosh, it's raining so bad. So after I let my primer dry and kind of set on my face, then I'm going to go in with my foundation. And right now, I'm using a sample of the Dior Skin Forever Foundation in the shade 23. And I believe this is a peach shade, but I think I need the shade Linen, because this is a little too dark. But we're going out with the sample because, oh girl, I got no money. She's in college. So, anyways. So then I'm going to go in my Sigma Flat Top Kabuki, which is the F80, and I'm going to blend this foundation out with this brush. By the way, this is a good affordable brush as well. For my little pesky spots on my face, I'm going to go in with this Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer, and this is in the shade 5, and the, I truly believe that this is the best spot conceal like I've ever owned. Never changed from this, I've been using this for like 3 or 4 years, but I love this stuff. And you honestly just need the tiniest amount of this stuff. I like to blend it in with my finger, but you can also blend it with the beauty blender. I just think the product looks a little bit more blended in whenever I use my finger. As they say, the warm touch of your finger. Whatever it is. Your finger warms up the product. You know. For my eyes, I'm going to prime with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC20. And then I'm going to set that concealer with the Kat Von D translucent powder and I'm using my brush, my Morphe E30. For the first shade on my eyes, I'm going to use my Makeup Geek Mami MUA palette. And I'm sorry I use this all the time, but I just love it. There's so many ways you can use it, even though there are some dramatic colors in here. But I'm like basically obsessed with these two colors and this one. And okay, I'm obsessed with all of them. But I love these two colors for transition shades. So I'm starting off with those two colors that I was talking about. And it is Sora and Frappe. And first I'm gonna go with Sephora on my M441 brush by Morphe. Next I'm going in with Frappe and I'm using the same Morphe M441 brush and I'm just going to put that right on top and build up that color as well. Next I'm going with the shade that is basically the reason why this is my go-to eye look. So this is from Colourpop and this is the shade So Quiche, I think I said that right. And it is just super pretty and it's like a brown but like has reflexes of like purples and golds, like it's super super pretty, I love it.
Then for the brush that I'm using, it's my Morphe M124 brush. I'm just gonna go in with that brush that I used on my crease and I'm not putting any product on it and I'm just gonna kind of blend out. I'm going to use my Tarte Tarteiste Dual Ended Eyeliner and I'm going to be using the liquid side. So now I'm going to go back in and do the rest of my face and first I'm going to be going in with this LA Girl Pro Concealer and I'm hoping that this is going to work out. This is the shade Porcelain because they all kind of look a little dark and I've been getting not tanned. So I'm going to go with this. Hopefully it works. Yeah. And then I'm going to blend it out with my Beauty Blender. Okay, and then to set my under eye concealer, I'm going in with this Wet n Wild Contour Palette. And I am obsessed with this palette, and it's like $4, so that's great. But I'm going to use this like banana shade right here, don't know if you can see it, don't know if the camera's catching it. But I'm going to use that with my Morphe E30 brush. And then once you look like a ghost, you know you did it right. Just kidding. So while that's baking, I'm gonna go in and do my brows with my Goof Poof Brow Pencil by Benefit, and this is in the shade two. And I don't really go crazy with my eyebrows. I kinda just try to keep it in the lines that my brows are already like giving, except for this one, it's like a crazy brow. I don't really know. I wish I had like really bomb brows like those girls on Instagram. Then I'm just going to go in with my NYX Control Freak Clear Brow Gel and I'm just going to glue them down. <laughs> So for my under eyes, I'm going in with the Man MUA Makeup Peak Palette and I'm using the shade Aphrodite and it's the deep purple shade. And I'm just going to put this on a MAC flat top eyeliner brush and I'm just going to barely put it on. I'm just going to kind of put it on the outer corner. And then I'm going in with the shade Frappe and Sora using my Morphe E24 brush. But then I'm going in with my Kat Von D shade light palette and I'm using the shade Subconscious and I'm putting that on with my Morphe M523 brush. Sculpt it out. And then for my nose, I'm kind of just gonna go on the little tip of the nose, just kind of bronze it up. For blush, I'm using my Lorac Buildable Blush in the shade Prism, and I'm using the Morphe E4 to put this on. I'm just going to go in with my Anastasia Glow Kit in the shade Sun Dipped, and I'm just going to mix a 
tiny, tiny bit of the Summer and Moonstone shade with my Real Techniques setting brush. And then nothing really new next. I'm just going to go in with my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara on my top lashes. And on my bottom lashes, I'm using the MAC Extend and Play Giga Black Lash. For my lips, I'm going to use the ColourPop Lippy Pencil, and this is in the shade Lumiere. Then on top of that, I'm using the Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in the shade Crush. So this is the finished look. I hope y'all enjoyed watching this tutorial over my go-to eye look. And if you did, then please give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see some more of my videos, then please hit subscribe because I would greatly, greatly appreciate that. And I will link it down below in the screen. If you have any requests or any looks that you would like to see, then please comment down below as well because I would love to hear what you're interested in and what you want to see. I hope you'll have a wonderful day. Bye.